All right, once again, I got some tubers. These were the best among slim pickings. They uh, look a lot healthier than the stuff I have right now. Better than that one, although when that one was uh, new to my house, you know, it was a little better. But these have a lot of buds, and I'm just going to add some hydrogen peroxide. They're in cold tap water right now. And see what kind of growing setups I'll come up with. I'll squeeze out the air. Just kind of mix this around gently without damaging the tubers. They should start fizzing. So I'll just let this sit for a good uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes, maybe even longer. I don't see why not. Right, so these things have soaked for a good 15 minutes. And let's see. Look a lot bigger in the bag. But anyway, I think this will fit in one of my new uh, Coke can setups. Oops, I just spilled a bunch of this hydrogen peroxide. And let me just wipe that up. This other piece is really big. Well, it's more wide than anything else. Uh, let me zip this up. And we put that in here. It can barely fit. Yeah. So the question is, what am I going to do with these two? You know, I'm thinking I'll cover these with plastic wrap and spray with hydrogen peroxide liberally every few hours every day. And just to keep them wet and prevent dehydration. But at the same time, I will never have them waterlogged because the runoff will just collect over there. This is all happening on day 14. And just to settle the first order of business, I've lessened the intensity of the bulbs. I switched them out for 500 lumen bulbs. And I'm going to spray this with hydrogen peroxide. I added more sand and diatomaceous earth. So this is clearly not one of the bright spots of this series, but um, just leave it there. I mean, the main tuber still has, the biggest chunk has green spots. And I also added more sand and diatomaceous earth to this. So I can water that a little bit. You know, I don't know how hopeful I am for that. But the light intensity was way too high. So let me just turn on my Lux meter here. And, you know, it won't be quite this close, but 12,000 Lux is a realistic estimate. You know, I'll just put it in various spots so I don't have to move everything around. You know, 10 to 12,000. And this stuff will, of course, get a lot less. So with greater light intensity comes more heat. And that was a major problem. So even so, the uh, thermometer clock, hygrometer says uh, it's 29 Celsius. That's still pretty warm for tubers. So I've gathered that too much heat is a bad thing for these tubers. It dehydrates them. And then, you know, something that was once all lush red and green can go to shit in a few days. So... Um, I'm going to put this over to preserve moisture and another piece of plastic wrap. This piece is kind of wide, so I was thinking of cutting slits, but, you know, that would just make a mess during watering. So I decided not to. And I'm going to put one of these, uh, maybe I'll put the big piece. You know, um, yeah, I'll just keep it here under the most available light and this other piece which also shows some promise you know that can go right here the way I decided to take away one of my new samples from here it was 28.4 celsius over there to here where it gets very little light but it's a lot cooler 
So we look at that, you know, 25.5 Celsius or uh, 74 or slightly less Fahrenheit. That's three Celsius cooler and that's a significant difference. All right, it's day 18 and I think I'm gonna get rid of all three of these. This one is really long in the tooth. It's going nowhere. And this cup, you can take a closer look at that, but it's kind of dead in the water. Well, not really because it's not soaking, but you know, we have green area there, potentially many others that are just now obscured. And this thing looks like a pine cone at the top. So we're gonna get rid of that soon enough. And this was supposed to be the successor to all of that. But if you look at it, you know, there's really not much development other than this one area here where you have a green shoot. And that's really not going anywhere either. I'm going to show you what's really going on. I have this new setup, much like with my uh, onion series. So I have this measuring cup in a $6 Target glass jar. This is American made glass in Ohio. That way I don't have to worry about heavy metal poisoning or anything. But since I'm not gonna drink anything or eating anything out of this, it probably didn't matter anyway. So as you can see, this new specimen is a bigger tuber than any of the previous ones, except for that very original one that I chopped all those pieces from in the dish. And if we open this jar here, it looks very nice. But at the same time, I cannot see any rooting activity. You know, it's got that beautiful purple. It's green all over. Everything that looks like a bud and should be a bud is exhibiting greening behavior. So it gives you the impression that something's going to sprout at each one of these locations imminently, but without the ability to uptake water, this is literally not gonna go anywhere either. Although it looks very promising and it's been only a few days. Which brings us to this remaining sample on the side. All right, so I'm gonna consider this a spawning site. You know, this entire bud-like region much like in ginger rhizomes, I believe, if you were to cut that with a knife out, it would function as an independent unit. It's got what look to be viable shoots and roots. So that's happening at several other sites also. Some are, you know, pinkish purple, but um, I've seen rooting activity at other sites too although not as well developed. This brings me to the question, you know, is this whole structure upside down? Well, I guess it doesn't matter because, you know, if I leave it in the same position, it's just gonna adjust according to gravitropism and the shoots are gonna grow up, the roots are gonna grow down. So it doesn't matter if this thing is sideways or in any other orientation, as long as I don't keep confusing the plant by uh, spinning it on its axis. Um, and reversing the pole, so to speak. So this thing will do just great. You know, I think this is our number one contender and I'm gonna spray a little bit of hydrogen peroxide on this before I go to sleep. And basically I'll keep this in the dark because it's done so well. I wanna see shoots and what resemble leaf primordia before I actually put this in, you know, the lamplight with the other sample over here.